Hello everybody, my name is Julian Hicks and I'm just about to open the boxes that contain the tabletop castles that arrived from the printers. I've got one each of the three boxes here and we'll start the process of opening them up to see what's inside. Box number one. I wonder if you're all as excited as I am about this process. I wonder what's inside. Let's have a look. Okay, so this box contains many thousands of the castle box tops. So I'm going to take just one of those um, out of the box and let's pop the box to one side again. <coughs> so this is what you'll receive. Um, the uh, crenellation tabs um, are still in place. You just have to push those out. You can see how easily they fall out. And then we're looking at the folding process for the box, which is um, again, the, the, the lines are creased quite heavily um, into the card, so you shouldn't actually need to use a, a, a ruler to, to fold them up. Um, I would say crease them slightly past the point you want them to be at, but not all the way. Um, we'll see. I might, I might rethink that, <laughs> because uh, until we actually assemble it, we don't quite know how well it's going to work. So let's have a look and see. Again, you've got a couple of, um, of tabs to fold here. Um, and yeah, just following the, the creasing lines. There we go. And then the, the more difficult creasing the corners. Um, this is one where you need to be a little bit careful because obviously what we don't want to do is break the, um, uh, the uh, laminate that, that protects the top of the box. Um, and then we've got to tuck them in like so. Oh, try that again. Tuck them in like so, and tuck them in like so. Now, it may be that we need to do um, a little bit of adjustment to get a nice tight fit, because obviously what you don't want is these springing open all the time. Um, there we go. Looks pretty sound. Um, there are a few issues regarding the walls bulging, but I will come back to those in more detail in a later video. So, castle tops, we have them. Right, uh, number two. Let's just move that box out of the way. There we go. And unboxing the next box. Oh. Right. And I don't know which this will be. We'll have a look now and so make sure we don't go through the box and cut anything inside. So this one contains wall boxes, again, many, many hundreds in a box. We'll take just one out at the moment. Got the others out of the way. And we'll just assemble a single wall box. Fold it both ways. Fold those flaps in, just past the fold point, um, and then insert the, the flap. Again, doing it gently the first time, as the, um, the desire with these things always is to have them pretty tight. It makes it tricky when you assemble it the first once or twice, but they ease a little bit and then they stay stronger. Um, and then again, we want to fold in, fold in, fold that flat first, and then the top down again. It will be a tight fit the first time out. A wall box. Again, we can overfold that afterwards so that we get a more stable box. Okay, right. Moving on now to. Box number three, I've got these out of the way as well. And last but not least, the third box. 
and we'll open him up and this obviously we hope <laughs> we hope contains the tower we'll have a look uh, yeah it's got a few towers in it definitely definitely a few there let's just steal one out of the middle there we go pop them on the table move the box out of the way and have a quick assembly of our first tower box now um, the flap that goes in first on the on the base of the box and then you tuck in the side flaps so that they pop in underneath like so and the third flap then needs a bit of extra manipulation just to tuck it right inside like that the advantage of this box fold is it gives a much more stable box and then we've got the top to do and as you will see since the um, the early prototypes um, we've now included the I don't know if you can see that the um, track door on top of the box so there we have them one two three all the boxes ready to go excellent